Aloha everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sincerely Alana. On this episode, I have a special guest, Mr. Naj Salas, and today we are talking about sexual orientation and identity within the Pacific Islander community. Hi, happy day, Yorana. My name is Nosh. Um, so, a little about myself. I identify as like, bisexual, um, but I recently just came out in 2017, and you know, it's just a great weight has been lifted off my shoulders. And even though I personally don't know a lot about the LGBTQ community and their narratives, I do um, understand that what it feels like to be closeted and to kind of fall within the social norms of, you know, how guys should like girls, girls should like guys, instead of, you know, being who you are, representing yourself, and just being, being true to yourself. So, people nowadays, folks nowadays, they <clears throat> identify as queer or in terms of like sexual orientation, they can be, you know, straight, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender. Um, and in terms of like identity, um, people could be gender fluid. So what I mean by gender fluid is that they don't necessarily believe in just one gender. They could have masculine and, um, and or feminine qualities. And that kind of ties in, where, where it ties in with Pacific Islander culture and communities, it stems back to like Mahus, Fafafinis, Fakalitis, um, because they embodied both the masculine and the feminine within themselves, whether they be a man or a woman. They embodied both of those um, traits. So that is, I think, better known as third gender, right? But I feel mm -hmm. like gender fluid is definitely the better yeah term to use as far as that but in pacific islander cultures like it was very accepted like mm -hmm. they're very much a part of the structure of society and played a role in a lot of things yeah so in the past historically and culturally mahus were the culture keepers the nurturers the teachers the educators the healers of the community so usually they as in like the people or the community themselves, they look to these culture keepers, the mahus of Fafafine, the Fakaletis for guidance, wisdom, cultural knowledge, and they're the ones that pretty much brought the community together, which is still seen today, because I mean, me personally, I have a lot of role models who are Fafafine, Fakaleti, Mahu, however you want to define it, who have this positive energy that they just radiate and they have so much knowledge to give and perpetuate and preserve within like the community. Yeah, definitely. I feel like they have like just such a loving and open soul like. Yeah, and it's, it's unfortunate because like in society, you know, people aren't informed. I don't want to say that they're ignorant or that they are afraid or fearful, but they just don't have the tools or the resources to kind of know or inform themselves and educate themselves on you know why these people are the way they are yeah um it's just pretty much being able to inform yourself or finding the resource to inform yourself yeah and i like i'm still doing my own research on it mm -hmm. like, obviously like there's still so much that i need to learn about the topic yeah. and those resources i will be sharing on the website under the resources tab so that way hopefully we can educate more people on no. the topic so and trust me like i don't i'm not like my word isn't like completely 100 percent all facts um i'm still finding stuff out about myself or about you know lgbtq within the pacific islander community and it's still a growing moment a learning moment for me too but just want to say that for those of you who do i identify as lgbtq plus um, know that you do have support, you do have resources and tools to help you and to help those around you kind of understand you better, to have people support you 
um, and that you definitely aren't alone in the community. So, to those of you, you know, just sending a lot of love and strength and courage your way, and for those of you who have friends and family who identify within the LGBTQ plus community, um, just inform yourselves, be there to support, you know, them, those folks who need it because nowadays they're going to be, they're going to feel very ostracized and families, the last thing that they want to be separated from. Yeah. And going back to um, how I mentioned it was so normal in society, mm -hmm. like today I feel like, like obviously there's a lot more hate and discrimination towards it, but um, one of the reasons why is just because the stereotypes that are now like with being Pacific Islander, especially Pacific Islander men. Yeah. Because that stereotype that they're all like athletes and big football, like... Oh, like strong. Yeah, like they're strong and they're masculine and, you know... I'll be honest, there are a lot of guys out there who are Polynesian, Micronesian, Melanesian, whatever. Like the strongest, toughest looking guys, but there are some who identify as like gay or LGBTQ+. And trust me, don't be surprised when when you find out that they are because, I mean, within even within our community, yeah, there is still some discrimination. There are still some there are still some people who don't understand or don't like when they're around people who identify like that. But um, it is something that's still more accepted within our community than other communities. Oh yeah, for sure. But yeah, it's. People have to be, or keep that in mind that the Mahus were the culture keepers and the preservers of the culture. Yeah, just stay informed, update yourself. Um, if you're not sure, check out Alana's links to her research, and then if you have family and friends, you know, just reach out to them and see what you can do to support them and what you can do to support your LGBT community, especially like your other. Pacific Islander folks who identify within that community. Yep. Alright everyone, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sincerely Alana. Be sure to check back next week for a blog post and also stay updated for upcoming videos. Thank you so much for coming today and helping record and share your information. Uh, be, guys, be sure to check out the website because I will be posting more resources and be sure to like and share this video. And spread peace, love, and positivity. Love is love. Maru.